Hello, my name is Yajin Kim. Um, today I'll present about uh, sequence determinants of RNA co-localizations in subcellular spatial transcriptomic data. Localizing the mRNA to a specific part of the cells allows for very precise control of gene expression, both in timing and locations. And in this process, RNA interacts with proteins and with other types of RNAs. Uh, this interaction between RNAs and various macromolecules achieve diverse functionality. For RNA localizations, a specific sequence in the mRNA plays a key role in both keeping them inactive during the transport and activating them at the right place by interacting with certain proteins. We call this sequence as cis-acting signals. However, the explorations of RNA molecules in subcellular space is still in its early stage. And in this work, we introduced machine learning approaches to identify sequence determinants of co-localization patterns in spatial transcriptomic data at a single molecule resolution. In this study, we utilize the data set from human osteosarcoma cells generated using the MRFISH technique, which provides subcellular level data that enable us to visualize individual mRNA transcript, which are represented by colors dot in this image by, and by assign them in their spatial coordinates. To deepen our understandings of RNA interaction within cells, we focus on examining the RNA-RNA co-localization. Uh, Instance is a tool that developed by Anurendra, and it's designed to identify all gene pairs that significantly uh, find this decolocalization, which means the two genes tend to local uh, located within distance D of each other, like um, these two genes uh, in this figure. Um, instance uh, used the uh, conditional poston uh, binomial test to evaluate decolocalizations, and we can uh, define gene pairs uh, as those consistently found in close pro proximity in many cells. When we get this decolocalization pairs, we separately address the transcript of the cytoplasm and nucleus. For the input of our model, we deconstruct the RNA sequence into KMER and utilizing their co-occurrence to predict co-localization. We calculated this by an element-wise dot product. And we used the machine learning algorithms to enhance our predictive capability. And our goal is to predict the co-localizations of RNA pair. Here, we assess the effective KMER size for our models by comparing their prediction performance in different KMER uh, setting. Given the imbalance, of, imbalance between the positive and negative sample set, we have mainly focused on measuring balance accuracy of our pr primary comparison matrix. This is the five-fold cross-validation result, and the values on the bar is indicate the average of every four-fold. We ex experimented with KMER size ranging from three to six and observed that models using larger K showed a higher balance accuracy score. This suggests that smaller KMER size may be inefficient to capture the co-localization signals from the sequence. In addition to uh, balanced accuracy, we have also examined um, other performance matrix such as F1 score, a AURC, and AP. Furthermore, we assess the robustness of our model by comparing this performance with randomized label. The result from this comparison shows that the randomized labels um, shows performance levels with accuracy um, scores around 0.5, and also well, in, in other matrix. Next, we um, evaluate, our, evaluate our, our model's performance across different regions of the transcript. But we separate the RNA sequence into 
five prime for UTR and three prime UTR and the coding region and compare the performance. The coding region shows the highest balance accuracy among the three. However, especially in the result in nucleus shows um, both five prime and three prime UTR also enabled uh, to capture the co-localization signal. From this result, as many pieces of literature mentioned, the UTR region also have some signals for uh, RNA co-localizations and, and is also demonstrated in this prediction performance. We also explore the significance of different RNA sequence features in predicting co-localization. To do this, we calculate the average of the absolute shaft value scores for each camera in our trained model, uh, assessing their average impact on the model output. Additionally, the left figure presents the top 10 camera as identified by the model. Um, we made a hypothesis that two RNA were localized due to bind same RBP. So we used the CCPP RNA and scanned the top 10 six smurt and discovered that eight out of the 10 uh, corres um, corresponded to motif that of the RNA binding proteins. In contrast, we when we examined the 10 camer uh, with the lowest shaft score, then none of them match with any known RVP. So this find support um, our hypothesis that the two RNAs may co-localize due to binding with same RBP. As part of our future set, we plan to work with additional uh, data set in various biological contexts such as different cell type and tissue. We also looking forward to conducting the experimental validation. I want to express my sincere uh, thanks to Anu and Bave for continuous support to this work. Thank you for listening.